Um, <laughs> If there is one element that's more important than the other, you know, you've got mental health, you've got social and communicational skills, you've got environmental awareness, you've got physical health, which one is more important? And I say, well, you know, there's going to be a debate around that. But as far as I'm concerned, they're all as important as each other. You know, one doesn't really work without the other. If your physical health is lacking uh, and you're sick and you're tired, then your mental health is going to be affected. As if your mental health's not too great, then your physical health, you might be lethargic and procrastinate and you don't want to do anything. You might go into a depressive state. They're all interact environmental, massive. Yeah, we know yeah. that if we take a child out of one environment and put them into another, you know, you take a child out of a classroom and take them to a forest and ask them to climb a tree, go to, go to Monkey World Adventure or something yeah, like that. Yeah. You're going to learn more about them. Oh, yeah. You're going to learn about their teamwork skills, their communication yeah. skills, their Play ability again. for laughter. Mm -hmm. There's going to be so much. And there's, you're probably going to learn more about a child climbing a tree than you are trying to shove maths down them yeah. on, a, on a Wednesday afternoon or whatever that might be. And I think when you change the environment, you change the opportunities for children to express themselves. And that's what we're talking about expression, isn't it? How can you support me? to express myself in, in, in an environment where I feel safe to do so. Yes. so that, might be on a, that might be on a football pitch for Dylan. That might be in a, in a boxing ring for, 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 Dil for Derek, whoever. And it might be uh, climbing a tree for Lacey or running around an athletics um, you know, pitch, whatever that might be. But I think you know, the environment is so key. Um, that's, that's amazing. That, that in there as well. I love that. Yeah. That is just such a lovely moment. How can I create an environment that a child feels safe enough to express themselves. And yeah. in an ideal world, that's the home, isn't it? That's the Absolutely. parents. But yeah. Or the village. Or the village. But yeah. life is not like that. And it's not as cushy like that for most children. And, no. and so then we need to think in, in the societal and community response, how can we create mm. safe environments within the school system, within yeah. the foster care system, within all these places, so that the child can express themselves, because that is play. And play, we can just summarize that. How can I help a child to feel safe enough to play? Yeah, that that is really what we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Because we can only play when we feel relaxed. You know, if you mm -hmm. look at cubs in the wild, um, they're not fighting and playing together when they're mm -hmm. hungry or when there's a threat and someone's about to eat them. They play and roll around when they're safe when they feel safe Absolutely. Yeah. Heart, heart for my kids this is my heart I have is play healing for our children yeah. it sounds like the same for you that we just want to keep fostering these calmer safer environments for our kids to thrive and grow into these amazing humans that we know that they can be 